in today's lecture of e-commerce and in the topic of legal issues and e-commerce we will cover storage of electronic messages and their evidence value so where the electronic messages can be stored and what are the evidences value so first of all what is evidence regardless of whether the evidence is physical evidence trace evidence biological matter or electronic evidence residing on a specialized device all evidence must be treated the same so integrated must be protected at all times so we can't uh, we can't differentiate between the evidences evidences can be of any type it can be of physical it can be of biological it can be call recording it can be electronic evidences like call recording or some internet footage and etc so all these are the kind of evidences and we must uh, treat it the evidences in the same manner and uh, integrity of all the uh, evidences must be protected every time and electronic evidence is defined as information and data of value to an investigation it is stored on received or transmitted by an electronic device that is called electronic evidence the data which is stored or received or transmitted by any electronic device that is called the electronic evidence in evolution of electronic evidence in 1984 the fbi began to use computer evidence then in 1991 a new term that is computer forensic was coined and in india it act 2000 was initiated and on 17th october 2000 uh it act 2000 was notified and along with it the indian evidence act 1872 got amended with several new sections being added to address the issue of electronic evidence so before 2000 there was a indian evidence act of 1872 was exist and after and after the incorporation of it act so the indian evidence act 1872 was amended and uh, it was issues with the electronic evidence characteristics of electronic evidence the electronic evidence is is invisible and can be altered or destroyed very easily because electronic evidences are not physical they are saved in some memory or uh, in the form of audio in the form of video or in the form of some text or any other format so basically these are not the physical this is these are saved in a memory storage devices so these can be easily altered and destroyed so if for example if some audio has been altered or some video has been altered then that audio or video must be sent to the lab which identifies whether this is altered sound or altered video or it is copied from somewhere else and all so these are the characteristics of electronic evidence that's why the electronic evidence sometimes uh, cannot be put as a proof so electronic evidence is needs some certification from a authorized lab that these evidence electronic evidences are valid and truthful so it is latent like a dna that means uh, it is these are uh, we can say invisible like a dna and uh, it crosses a jurisdiction borders yes uh, it crosses a jurisdiction border because sometimes call recordings are there um, the accused is saying this is not my voice but again when it is uh, relayed through some authorized lab after that and so it's certified from the lab also after that the accused is saying no i am not here then this crosses the jurisdiction borders that is depends on the juris uh, justice or jurisdictions what to do uh, can be time sensitive okay it can be destroyed it can be time sensitive means it can be corrupt after some time it can be corrupt if your memory has been destroyed where the data is stored then it can be corrupt 
so that's why it is very science time sensitive it requires special tools equipments and specialized training so to save or to identify the electronic evidence we need some special uh, tools or special softwares uh, and a specialized training to those who are investigating agencies and investigating officer we need to give the training how to handle all types of electronic evidences and how to identify whether that electronic evidence is fake or not it is a truthful evidence or not it requires a very expert testimony the meaning of expert testimony is includes the research on that field how to identify whether that is vague or not and uh, what type of equipments we need so that and what type of parameters we need to take what type of tools we we must take uh, so all these research are done by the person and people who are done with all the research called the experts so we need the expert testimony who shares their experiences in a forensic field in biological field with the which can be connected with the uh, it act or electronic evidences so if you want some uh, if let's say there is some physical evidence and now you want the uh, physical evidence uh, the proof of that physical evidence scientific way so we must need some computers or etc to make a conclusion where what happened and uh, evidences must be collected through electronically also then why digital digital because it has been broken down into digits so binary units of ones and zeros you have already studied so that are saved and retrieved using a set of instructions called software or code so here we have developed a software so whatever the electronic evidences are there all the electronic evidences are saved in the form of zero and one so we need to identify or decode uh, what is that zero and one so for decoding that we need a software who or we need uh, some coding instruction so that we can decode the, all the evidences so any kind of information like photograph words letters can be created and saved using these types of instructions so we have seen this is a photograph we have seen these are the words or spreadsheet or doc file or video but in electronic devices in all these pics and uh, spreadsheets and videos and sounds and music all these are saved in the form of zero and one so we can't read a zero and one so that we need some application we need some softwares who read that zero and one and present it that zero and one in r in that way so that a human can easily understand okay then where is electronic evidence is saved so we are very familiar that any kind of storage device like computer cds dvds floppy disks hard drives and thumb drives nowadays with the help of usb universal serial bus uh, the floppy disks are obsolete in the market and cds are also obsolete from the market nowadays the dvds are in the market and usb pen drives are also in the market some of cds are also available in the market so uh, next thing is electronic cameras like memory sticks uh, and memory or sim cards cell phones all these are the storage devices we can save all the evidences here then fax machines answering machines cordless phones pagers now pagers are totally uh, now even fax machines and uh, cordless phones pagers and these caller ids all these are obsolete from the market it was a old it was a 90s technology all these things were in very frequently used during the 90s and uh, with the improvement in the telecommunication sector and with the advancements in the mobile phones and uh, these pagers um, fax machines answering machine answering machines is still also available in the form of ibr so Uh, scanners printers and photocopiers are also available still now and now cctvs are also present so cctv can also be a electronic evidence 
So this is all about the electronic evidences and where what are the electronic evidences and from where we can save our electronic evidences and what and uh, what are the storage devices so that electronic devices can be saved. So this is all about. So in the next topic, we will study about the cyber crime. Till then, thank you.